whenever you look at a Patriot team, you can't let the history of the Patriots influence your assessment of the team. When I look at the Patriots, right, this is the best dynasty in the history of the NFL, without a doubt. It, whether you root for the Patriots or not, I think we can all agree that their accomplishments demands that. It's the greatest dynasty in the history of the NFL, the New England Patriots. And for 20 years when Tom Brady was there, nine Super Bowl appearances, six Super Bowl victories, they missed the playoffs one time that was in Tom Brady's second year, and they had nine wins that year. Tom Brady, when he was a quarterback of this team, never once did they have a losing season. I mean, that's dominant. They weren't in Super Bowls. They were in conference championship games. They, they, they were in the playoffs. They were always in the fight. I mean, if you're a Patriot fan, you're spoiled. I always say Patriot fans are spoiled, okay? Because they, I mean, there are fans out there still waiting for their team to win a Super Bowl. Patriot fans are just, they're spoiled, right? It's the greatest dynasty in the history of the NFL. So when you look at the team, it's hard to not let the history influence your assessment of a team. It's hard, but you have to be able to do that. You have to be able to put the history aside and look at the 2022 Patriots. Remember, one of the biggest pieces of that dynasty is no longer there. Tom Brady does not play for the New England Patriots. He's not a Patriot anymore. He plays for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And that was the most important piece of the dynasty, not taking anything away from Coach Bill Belichick, but come on, the guy went to another team and won a Super Bowl. I think that argument is dead. He's not there anymore. He's gone. And when I talk to my friends who are Patriot fans, I feel like they haven't truly accepted this yet. They haven't really accepted it. No, no, we're always going to be in Super Bowls. We're always going to be a dynasty. And that's understandable. I mean, when you get used to something for 20 years, you kind of expect it. I, I feel Patriot fans are going to kind of have to go through this you know, humbling stage, right? And it's going to take a few years till they realize that Tom Brady is not there anymore, right? Those days of, of being in Super Bowls every year, that, that ain't happening anytime soon. And there's all this talk about Mac Jones that he lost weight and he's going into a second year and that the team has acknowledged him as a leader and he went to the Pro Bowl last year. Granted, it was as an alternate, but he did go. And, you know, this is going to be his year. This is going to be his year. You know, he's going to take that next step. He's going to probably have 4,300 passing yards, you know, 250 rushing yards and 30 touchdowns, 35 passing and rushing, whatever. He's going to take that next leap in his career. And I don't think that's true. Okay, when Mac Jones was drafted, the reason why he didn't go in the top five is because of the ceiling. They knew he was the most pro-ready. Everyone agreed that Mac Jones, coming out of college, was the, the best plug and play, most ready to play in the NFL because of where he played in college and who he played with. Nobody thought Trey Lance, you know, was more ready for the NFL than Mac Jones. So it made sense that out of all the quarterbacks drafted in the first round, right, he played the best. He was the most ready for the NFL. He went with a really good coach. He went with a really good franchise and he went with a really good team defensively. So he had a decent year, 3,800 passing yards. He wasn't all great with his numbers, right? He was like 15 touchdowns, 17, something like that yards, same thing. But compared to his contemporaries that were drafted in the first round, he was good. The idea that he's going to take that next step is hard for me to buy into. It's hard. And when I look at this team, when you have a quarterback going into a second year who, who's limited, he needs a good receiving core. You need to put talent around him, and that's not the Patriot way. They don't like to pay receivers, and they don't like to draft receivers in the first round. You know, they barely started doing it in 2017. Like, they don't like that. They don't like to put a lot of money into that department. And, you know, you know they spent some money, right? They got Jonu Smith. They got Hunter Henry. You know, Kendrick Bourne. Nelson Aguilar. But we know now, uh, and Jacoby Myers was there, but we know now, and that's not an elite receiving core, right? That's not elite. So you have a quarterback going into a second year with a receiving core that's not elite. Hunter Henry was great, but John U. Smith, right? Kendrick Bourne, Nelson Aguilar, you know, uh, I guess Kendrick Bourne was okay, right? Uh, Nelson Aguilar didn't live up to the hype. You know, Jacoby Myers, I believe, led the Patriots in receiving yards, but not one receiver for the Patriots in a 17-game season caught for more than 1,000 yards. And now they have Devontae Parker one time in his career. 
one time out of seven or eight years, he's caught for more than a thousand yards. And that was back in 2019. So when I look at this Patriot team, there's too many things against it. Remember, you got to separate the history. Because if you let the history influence you, you'll think Super Bowl bubble. Put that aside. Quarterback who has a ceiling going into a second year with a receiving core that is so-so. They added a receiver that is so-so. And they lost their longtime offensive coordinator who took a lot of the coaching staff with him. They took a lot of the coaching staff with him. And Matt Patricia and Joe Judge, I guess, are going to be calling the offense. And their best player, J.C. Jackson, is gone. Why is that happening? Why is Josh McDaniels gone? Why is your best player wanting to leave? Uh, uh, remember all those days when players would be willing to take pay cuts and work with the team? Usually that happens because they see something, right? I'll take a little less because they see they got a good quarterback and a good defense and a good coach and it's a good situation. All of a sudden, something that didn't happen to the Patriots for years, everyone wants to jam. Everyone wants to get going. Once again, Patriot fans, Tom Brady is not there anymore. The guy who was there and, and you know, 14 career game-winning drives in the postseason, nine of those in Super Bowls, conference championships, he's in Tampa. And in two years, they won a Super Bowl and they won a playoff game. That's impressive. He, he's not there anymore. Do I think the Patriots can be good? Yeah. But then I look at their division and their conference. I think the Dolphins are better. Remember, without Tyreek Hill, they beat the Patriots twice last year. I think the Bills are better. I mean, come on. I shouldn't even have to explain that one. Josh Allen is a superstar. They picked up Vaughn Miller, right? Like, you know, the Dolphins are better. The Bills are better. I'll say the Patriots are better than the Jets, but they might be sneaky good this year. They, I mean, they had a monster draft. But put that aside and look at the conference. Deshaun Watson to the Browns. Russell Wilson to the Broncos. Like, it ain't going to be easy. And that's why Vegas has the Patriots right around 8-9, over under. Now, last year, you know, I ate some humble pie. I didn't think they were going to make the playoffs, and they did. But in my defense, they spent, I don't know, $160, $70 million guaranteed. They're not doing that this year. So, I, you know, too much going on. I, and, and the thing that's hard for me when I evaluate this team is Mac Jones is a very likable dude, right? When you hear him talk, his, his press conferences, you want to root for him. You want to see him succeed. But when I look at this overall recipe, people leaving. The best player leaving, you know, uh, you know, Mac Jones kind of limited receiving core, not all that great. And this idea that, you know, you know, and, and then Bill Belichick, and it seems like all his family is kind of taking over the team, right? Like, you know, it's, it's all his family. It's weird. Tom Brady, the cornerstone is gone. I don't see a good year for the Patriots. I, I, I don't I, like, honestly, I think the over unders at eight or some eight or nine. Whether it was eight or nine, I would take the under. The guy who was the, the heart and soul of that defense is gone. Receiving core kind of iffy. You know, I, I, Patriots aren't going to have a good year. Hey, hey, everyone. Thank you for watching SP Sports today. Please don't forget to click the subscribe button down below. This way you are notified when we post new videos. Also, if you have a moment, leave a comment and check out our other videos.